welcome. Thanks for joining us. MLB The Show with a good one coming at you. It's the New York Mets and the Milwaukee Brewers. First pitch coming your way next. Just about ready to roll here. And on the hill, Freddie Peralta. What do you have on him? Four pitch guy. He's got some options to work with in terms of keeping hitters off balance. So we'll see how he decides to utilize those weapons through this start here and whether or not he's able to mix them all in early or if he wants to hold something back a little bit later, maybe second, third time through the order and give them something they haven't seen. It's tough when you know a guy's got that in his back pocket. As a hitter, you really have to stay on your toes. And the right hander deals. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. The punch out there. He battled for a long time, but it finishes with a strikeout. You can't be mad at yourself after an at bat like that one. Here's Brandon Nimmo. One down, base is empty. So a foul ball makes it one and two. It's no surprise they call this batter a day player. He statistically performs better in these games, and he's oh, hoping for a big performance in this one. Left-hand hitter waits. Spoils that one, and it remains two and two. Left-hand batter waits. Still two and two after the foul ball. Swing and a miss. Had him out front for the strikeout. Well, anytime you can punch out the top two guys in a lineup to start an inning, got to be feeling pretty good out there on the mound because when you think of just having a distraction, table setters on the base paths, and all of a sudden you're dealing with the number three hitter, any distraction can cause you to serve up a cookie, and instead of it being a solo shot, it's a two- or three-run homer. Two out, space is empty. Down the line. Freilich after it. Great catch, foul ground up against the wall. Half an incomplete. We've got no score. And we're back. And on the hill, a soft tossing lefty, just like you, Chris, Jose Quintana. Anytime you have five pitches to work with on the mound, that repertoire can be a real weapon in terms of keeping hitters off balance, man. It's, it's one of those things that I'm going to be looking for in this one. Does he have a feel for all of those pitches, or is he just able to get one or two over in the strike zone where he wants? Now, it's tough to do to be able to command all those pitches, but if he can, he is going to be very tough for the opponent today. And that's off the inside edge. The count now two and two. And a swing and a miss. And one gone. Very frustrating right there as a speedy potential base runner when with two strikes you just struggle to put the ball in play. You don't even have to get a hit at that point. You can help your team just by reaching on an error. But some way you got to find a way to shorten up the swing and put the ball in play next time. Now the number two hitter, William Contreras. And a swing and a miss there. One ball, two straight. The one, two. Just no, missed. Really good two take, two. especially with two strikes. Got it by him for the K. Well, there appears to be no problem settling in on the mound out there today. It looks pretty tough to start this one. Punched out the first two hitters of this ball game. And somebody's going to have to put the bat on the ball, put it in play, and get something going. Misses outside. Two balls and a strike. That's hard hit on the line. 
Marte makes the catch inning over. Nobody left for Milwaukee. Scoreless after one. Back here in Milwaukee, top of the second, and here's the first baseman, Pete Alonso. Alonso. Right hander kicks deals. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Adamas the throw to first. One up, one down. That is good. The left fielder, number three. Jesse. Here's Jesse Winker. One out, base is empty. Out to short. Throw over to Bowers. Two up, two down in the top of the second. Yeah, I believe we talk about how the ball is coming out of a pitcher's hand. The way it comes out of his hand as an infielder. Wow, really impressive. Two outs, base is empty. J.D. Martinez stands in. And he deals. And another ball. Swing, and that ball smashed on a line. Mitchell flashes the leather on the run and catch. Down in order, go to Mets. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. We head to the bottom of the second, and the batter will be the shortstop, Willie Adamas. And a pitch. And a ground ball to first. Alonso steps on the bag. And a quick out number one. That is good. No left fielder. Jackson. Chorio. Jackson Chorio now at the plate. One missed. That clips the corner. Here's a two two. Out to short, Lindor. Throw pulls him off the bag and he's safe. That is good. Well, I definitely think the speed down the line played a factor on that throw. He had more time than he thought, but as a fielder, the speed of the game and the speed of the runner sometimes can get in your head, and he just rushed it and failed to make a clean throw. One gone runner at first. Now here is Garrett Mitchell. Step off throw to first. Back standing. He's in there safely. Base runner with a one way lead right there. All he's trying to do is get a look at the pitcher's move. Had no intent of stealing on that pitch. Swing and a ball lifted left field. Winker makes the grab. Batting seven. The designated hitter. Reese Hoskins. And it's Reese Hoskins up to the dish. A little out front there as he swings through it. This guy's got such a good sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing stuff in the dirt. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Brewer strand one will move to the third with no score. Back here at American Family Field. Here's Starling Marte. Starling. 
Martin. The wind of the pitch. Bounced up the middle. Lays out, but he can't squeeze it. He decides to eat it, and they don't get an out on the play. Here's the veteran second baseman. Marte on at first. Nobody out. Swing and a miss. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Here's the catcher, Francisco Alvarez. The 1 1. Upstairs. a little bit low good spot there but didn't get the strike at the knees and doesn't seem too convinced by the call out there on the mound as he tried to get a better sense of the umpire strike zone and the righty deals and Thank ball four to a board he's making things difficult for himself right now out there on the mound but you know his confidence should still be high enough to get out of this but he's gonna have to buckle down right here so the lineup flips over. Here's Francisco Lindor. The pitch. Late on that fastball. Well, a come and get me fastball right there. He didn't look ready for the velocity. I think it'd be a mistake to throw him anything off speed right here. On the ground to third. To first, and he beats it. Everyone's safe. Here's the center fielder, Brandon Nimmo. And fouled off. The Mets with a chance to score first. We're here in the top half of inning number three. He fouls it off. We'll do it again. I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. Just missing there. Two and two. This is a situation where the hitter is looking for something up in the zone that he can get his arms extended. What you have to be careful of is that pitch that's up, that's in on your hands. That'll pop you up in the infield, and that's exactly what the pitcher wants. Line drive. Base hit. One run is in. The second run scores, and that's a double. Well, there you go. The RBI machine, another clutch run scoring it back. Yeah, he's been so good in these situations. Call it clutch if you want, but his resume speaks for itself. So two in scoring position with one out. Here's a big power threat. Mark Vientos gets the slider in there for a strike. Ripped into left, base hit. One run is in. In there safely. And they lead by four. Gets the job done as he brings home a pair. Solid swing from start to end. On time with everything. Really good balance. Nice extension. And he met it out front for the line drive knock. Man at first with one gone. Pete Alonso up now for the Mets. Grounder might be two. Flips to second, and it's a double play to end the inning. So they move out in front after a four-run outburst.
We move on to the bottom of inning number three. It's the Mets four and the Brewers nothing. Set for the bottom of the third, and now the right fielder, Sal right Fraley. Way inside, gets out of the way. This is a very important inning here. After scoring all those runs, you want your pitcher to come out and just mow them down. The offense has worked hard. It's shut down inning time. And here it comes. That one misses, and that's ball three. And that's in there at the knees for a strike. Here comes a 3-2. Rolled slowly to first. He steps yeah. on the bag. Leadoff hitter gone in the third. Batting nine. The third baseman, Joseph Ortiz. Next for the Brewers, Joseph Ortiz. The Brewers down by four here in the last half of the third. Ground ball to the right side, and that's just foul. And the next pitch is way outside. And a foul ball, he stays alive. The wind of the pitch. Still just the second batter of the inning, and on the mound, he's already thrown 13 pitches. They've got him working hard out there. The wind of the pitch. And a pop up, right side, foul territory. Makes the catch for the out. Up next for Milwaukee, the second baseman. Back to the top of the lineup, Bryce Terang. Up now for the Brewers. Two down, nobody on. Right through there, got him. And it's a three up, three down inning. Gone in order are the Brewers. They're on the short end of a four nothing score. Jesse Winker getting ready to hit. The left fielder, number three. Jesse Winker. And strike two. One and two. And another ball. Well, he hasn't quite settled in out there. Four runs in three innings. He's going to have to have some quick one, two, three innings to pitch deep into this ball game. Caught him looking for the K. Fastball inside just freezes the hitter. I don't think he was ready to pull the trigger. A lot of times hitters are looking away, and that one locked him up. And now J.D. Martinez. And the pitch. Swing and a high fly ball. Deep left field. Back there. Get out of town. And they add to their lead. It's 5-zip. They put a good swing on it, but the box score might want to credit the win for that home run.
They thought he could blow a high fastball by him, but he was ready for it. Look at how quickly he jumped on that pitch. So one out, nobody on. Starling Marte up to hit. Next offering upstairs. One out, base is empty, and a run in. Top half of inning number four. Swing and a foul. Pushed off to the right, and that will get out of play. 2-2 Two -two now. Got him swinging for the strikeout. Pulled the string of the changeup. He's locked in at the plate when he's using the whole field. He was out in front there. Just needs to let the ball travel a little more, and his timing will be back on track. Good pitch for the strikeout. Now it's the second baseman. Two outs. Foul ball. One and two now. Up the middle, Adamas tosses to first. That's out number three. The Mets do pick up a run on this solo blast. And the lead is now 5-0. Major League Baseball is on the show. William Contreras up now for the Brewers. The catcher, William Contreras. And a pitch. Oh. Just off the outside edge, and it's two and one. Ball and break. another ball. Three and one. That's a strike. Counts full three and two. Two strike. Outside, and that is ball four. Boog, do you think you could draw a walk in the bigs if we gave you enough at bats? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I think that if they gave the pitcher a full scouting report on me, yes, I think I could draw a walk. The pitch right through there for a strike. That one almost got him. And now the lefty cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. How about it? Shortstop. And at first, Willie Adamas up now for the Brewers. 1-1 one, one now. And there's a foul ball. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. And there's two away. The left fielder, number 11. Next for Milwaukee, Jackson Chorio. Here's a 1 1. And that one fouled off. The Mets leading by five. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. This one in the air. Vientos under it. He's got it, and that'll end the inning. Milwaukee leaves one. Still looking at that 5 nothing deficit. Here's the catcher for the Mets, Francisco Alvarez. Here comes a pitch. 
No. Activity in the bullpen. Joe Ross, the veteran right-hander, appears to be loosening up. Ashby warming up as well. Up and in. Three and one now. That one out to right. Freilich after it. Hauls it in for the out. Now batting. Shortstop. Francisco. Francisco Lindor comes up to the plate. Oh, here's a game Lindor will never forget. One night in July of 2023, he went five for five with a home run, two triples, and he scored three runs. That stat line is so rare, only one other player has done it. Guess who? Willie Mays in 1958. One down, base is empty. Bounce to the left side. Throw over to Bowers. Lindor retired. Good fade and sinking action of that changeup. Got that hitter to roll over. Two outs, base is empty. And stepping in for New York, Brandon Nimmo. Kicks and deals. Swing and a fly ball in the air out towards right center field. Fralick brings it in for the third out. Garrett Mitchell up now for the Brewers. The center fielder, Garrett Mitchell. That's inside. Two and one. Well, these Brewers, from what we've seen, I think it's fair to wonder if they've been too patient at the plate. Sometimes it's a good thing, but today they're continuing to fall behind in the count, and that's adding a ton of pressure to their offense. Gets to it with a slide. The throw, it's there, and that's a great play. Just so impressed with the movement on that play. Footwork was excellent. The arm strength was there, and of course, the most important part was getting the out. So here's the Brewers DH, Reese Hoskins. Next one misses. And it's two and one. The pitch. Three balls, one straight. There's an opportunity to do some damage and perhaps unlock this offense. Three one count. Be ready to turn on a fastball. The Brewers still looking for their first hit in this one. Hit hard on the ground is short. Lindor on the first. Two up, two down. The right fielder, number 10. Sal Freilich. Up now for Milwaukee, Sal Freilich. Two down, nobody on. Last half of inning number five. Backed off the plate that time. That one fouled off two and two. Now this offense has just been locked down. Almost five full innings of shutout baseball. Okay. Misses, and it's three and two. He missed the zone, but I don't think he missed his spot. That was a good pitch with two strikes. Hot shot to first base, and he snags it to end the inning. Three up, three down for Milwaukee. It's five nothing. So the Brewers bring out a new pitcher from the pen, Joe Ross. Well, they need someone to stop the bleed and keep the score right where it is. 
Seems like a tough task today with the way this lineup is swinging it. And stepping in for New York, Mark Vientos. With this kind of lead, he can swing freely, try to hit the ball out of the park, do what he loves to do. Way out front for strike two. And a curve is down and in. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. I'm not sure that was the exact location the pitcher wanted, but it worked. He got the swing and miss, and I'm sure a bit of sigh of relief after seeing that one go through the zone. Here's Pete Alonso. That's off the mark. Two and one. Way to lay off that fastball up right there. You're looking for something you see well that you can handle, but you also have to keep the discipline so that you're not popping up pitches that are just a little too high. Line drive, base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. He was all over that one. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy, didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep, took the barrel right to it, and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. Now the batter now, Jesse Winker. Into center, Mitchell going after it. Mitchell pulls it in on the run. Up next for the Mets, the designated hitter, J.D. Martinez. Here is J.D. Martinez. Alonso off of first with two away. Bounce to third, and it's through for a hit. Throw in holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. Man, he just absolutely turned on that one, ripped it down the line. Nice job of staying in his mechanics. Starling Marte up now for the Mets. Here's a one two. Two two. First and second, two down. And we're the top half of the sixth. Ground ball, left ball. side, and foul ball. Hey. Swing and a miss, and that is that. Two left on. Nine, one, and two scheduled to hit in the home half of the sixth. It's the Mets five and the Brewers nothing. Here's the third baseman, Joseph Ortiz. The third baseman, Joseph Ortiz. And another ball. Two and one. Fouls one off, two and two. Outside. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. Clearly trying to stay back a little bit longer for that changeup as he fouls that fastball back. Stays alive. In danger of losing the no hitter here. Out to short. Toss to Alonzo. That was a strong at bat, even though he couldn't find a way on base. This is Bryce Terrain. The Mets leading by five here in the bottom of the sixth.
One down, base is empty. Outside low, and it's two and two. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Picks up strikeout number seven. Came inside with that two-strike fastball nicely and just bunched him up on the inside part of the plate. Couldn't get around on it and catch it out front. Many times if you do, it's a foul ball. And you know a lot of pitchers, they really don't like working inside with two strikes because they do not want to hit that batter. And when they've got him up against the ropes, got to... It's off his shoulder, eats him up. And that keeps the inning alive. Well, there goes the dream of the no-hitter. Just one of those seen high base hits through the infield. He just kind of rolled over on it a little bit, but sometimes those can find a hole and get you a knock. And now the first baseman, Jake Bowers. Kicks and fires. Just missed. Close, but call the ball. And the count is three and one. Well, it's been a very impressive outing so far. His command has been a big part of it. Even when he misses, he misses outside the strike zone, which is exactly what a pitcher wants. Three That's one, four. and he couldn't come up with it. Well, this could be the start of something. They haven't now found a way to score yet, but now's their chance to change that. First and second, two down. Willie Adamas stands in. Contreras on second. Bowers on at first with two down. Out to center. Nimmo has it sized up. And that ends the inning. Here's the second baseman. The pitch. Three that missed by a lot. And now three and one. Movement in Milwaukee's bullpen. Joel Piamps getting ready to go. Milner, the lefty, warming up as well. Swing and a miss as he was late. Three ball, two strike. In the air, left side. One away. Good pitch. He just kind of had him out in front on that pitch away and wasn't able to stay close. Francisco Alvarez, the next to hit. Ball to strike. Swings and misses at the pitch off the plate. Clearly he was sitting on a fastball right there and just ended up out in front of the slider. Hey, you can't fault him for his commitment. Now he's just going to have to battle with two strikes. One down, base is empty. What a chase that time. And another ball. Okay. And a pitch. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Okay. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Well, that's a blue zone right there, or the cold zone on the hitting chart. Just doesn't have much success in that part of the strike zone and a really good job of the pitcher executing try to go there as often as you can the numbers are in your favor edge of the zone call the strike now one and two I wouldn't say the game's close right now but it's not out of reach either I mean, these guys really need to put up a zero on the board just to maintain a little hope in the dirt now two and two And they'll do it again. Head
headed towards the corner. And that's a fair ball. Now he'll turn for second. In safely. It's a double at his second hit. Brandon Nimmo up now for the Mets. And yeah, the right hander deals. Line to left. Fair ball. Coming home. And that rolls into the corner. He'll score. And it's now a six run lead. In safely with a double, his second of the day. Seeing some good swings from him right now with consecutive extra base hits. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters. They take so many reps in the cages, working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. And next for the Mets, Mark Vientos. The pitch. And another ball. Man on second, two down. Strike two. He has a tendency to chase out of the zone, and that slider that's down, that's one of his money pitches to get that swing and miss. Drilled out towards left center field. That's well struck. It bangs off the wall. Runner from second scores as they add on. It's seven to nothing. He's in there. Well, they call that an advantage count for a reason. You're so much more likely to get something you can handle. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. Next is the cleanup hitter for the Mets, Pete Alonzo. So, a foul ball makes it one and two. Righty delivers on the ground to short. Adamas the throw to first. They limit the damage here. Two runs, three hits, no errors, and one left. Midway in inning number seven, and it's time to stretch. It's the Mets seven, and the Brewers nothing. Jackson Chorio up now for the Brewers. And a pitch. To the right side. And that chance handled. One up, one down. Now batting. Center fielder. Garrett Mitchell. Garrett Mitchell. Up now for the Brewers. Hit in the air, left field, and it drops in. So they get a man aboard with a one out single. Dominant performance for him today, Boo. Just two hits allowed so far, no runs across either, and he's had an answer for just about every hitter he's faced. So I don't think this hit is going to knock him off his stride too much. Here comes the skipper, and we're going to see a pitching change in this spot. Jose Quintana out of the game. Great effort out of him as he exits in line for the win. We'll tell you about the new pitcher when we get back. Tyler McGill taking over on the mound. Compared to some days, this is a pretty low leverage appearance for him, so he should be fairly free and easy out there. Still have to keep yourself sharp and attack the strike zone. Reese Hoskins will hit next. At the belt and fires. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Got him swinging. Well, that's always the key to effective pitching is getting ahead in the count. And as a pitcher, it really allows you to start expanding the zone. Hitters become defensive, and all of a sudden that plate starts to get really wide. And what happens is because of the pressure, you end up committing to a pitch as a batter before you recognize what it is, and that's what leads to the strikeout. 
and a 1 1. In the dirt. One and two. No movement. Now a ball and two strikes. Action in the pen down there. Reed Garrett appears to be getting loose. Razobon, the hard throwing right hander, up as well. Swing and a ground ball off the middle. That's a base hit. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. Timing on the swing was good. Able to shoot the ball up the middle. Didn't square it up as much as he probably would have liked, but that's a good approach paying off. Next for the Brewers, Joseph Ortiz. Yeah, there's a ball. Could be some action here on this next pitch. Couple runners on. Probably a challenge pitch coming. First and second, two down. Here at the bottom of the seventh. Ripped, base hit, around third. He will score. It's 7-1. Picks himself up an RBI. Just a very nice approach and swing right there to use the big part of the field. Everything was on time. He stayed balanced through the entire swing and just launched that one into center. Now it's the second baseman, Bryce Terang. Two on, two outs. And he grounds one to the right side. Toss to Alonzo. That ends the inning and stops things from getting out of hand. Two men left stranded, but they do push across one. We look ahead to inning number eight. It's the Mets seven and the Brewers one. Now the left fielder, Jesse Winker. The left fielder, number three, Jesse Winker. The wind of the pitch. In there. And so now one and two. Swings and misses. It's a strikeout. Pulled the string on the changeup. Here's J.D. Martinez. Base is empty one away. And we're at the top of the eighth. Now a high fly ball out to left center. Mitchell makes the play. Two down. The right fielder, number six. Starling. Two Marte. outs, base is empty. And now Starling Marte. Right hander kicks deals. That one off that's the mark. Way. And that's ball two. And that's in the dirt. One two down, nobody on. And he pumps it a strike. Three and two. And that's a base hit. Just kind of slice that one into center. Right there, does a great job of staying in the big part of the field. Man, there are a lot of hits there. Here's the second baseman. The 1-1. One, one. On the ground, right side. Gathers and throws to first. And that is that. Met strand one, and they're on top, 7-1. And now the catcher comes up to him. William Contreras. The catcher. William Contreras. And a 2 1 on the way. And that's in for a strike. And down on strikes he goes. And now one away. Jake Bowers nine. up now for the Brewers. Bauer. The Mets up big in this one here, at the bottom half of the eighth inning. Late that time, and it's strike two. Waves 
swings at the bender for the strikeout. Well, that's such a critical pitch in terms of execution right there. The pitcher has to finish it. Otherwise, probably gets hit pretty hard. If you leave that out over the plate or you don't get it down enough, quickly turns into something that gets smoked. But if you can place it where he did, it's a really deceptive pitch. And he deals. So a foul ball makes it one and two. And here it comes. The shortstop takes a ball. Two balls, two strikes. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Impeccable command in that one. Three batters, three strikeouts. That's electric stuff out there on the mound. Here's the catcher for the Mets, Francisco Alvarez. Francisco Alvarez. This one in the air center field. Makes the catch, and there's one gone. Now batting. Shortstop. Francisco. Here's the Mets leadoff man, Francisco Lindor. The Mets up big in this one here at the top of the night. Rips one to right. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's two down. Man, that's one of those at bats where you have to remind yourself now it's bad. about the process. He did everything right right Brandon. there. Nothing to show for it. But in your mind, you have to convince yourself that it was a very good at bat. Two outs. Rip to short. Throw over to Bowers. And that's the third out. Nothing doing for the offense that time. Five, six, and seven will lead things off in the bottom of the ninth. It's the Mets seven and the Brewers one. Here's the left fielder, Jackson Chorio. The left fielder, Jackson Chorio. The pitch. And a big swing and a miss. One and two. A little bit low. Gets a piece and stays alive. Swings through that and it's a strikeout. Looks like he's picked up right where he left off. Some really good tunnel action there. That's a picture perfect slider to get the strikeout. Starts over the middle of the plate and then dives hard off the outside corner. You know, he's probably thinking about the fastball they got the pitch before, and there's no way to hold up when you tunnel that well. That skips in the dirt. Base is empty one away. We're in the last half of the ninth inning. That one back up the middle and it gets through. Now so now the DH spot. Reese Hoskins. Hoskins. And a swing to miss. One ball. He's straight. Oh. That misses the zone. Two and two. two. that off to the left and we'll do it again. 
Mitchell, the base runner at first with one out. Next Rainbow. pitch is downstairs. Foul ball left side. He'll see another. Righty to the plate. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. That's a base hit. They get it in quickly. So first and second, now one out. Back-to-back -back singles. I don't know how he's able to shoot that pitch the other way and still put something on it. That pitch was inside, and he let it get really deep. So pretty incredible hands to fight it off and still get good wood on it. Sal Fraley up now for the Brewers. Runners at first and second with one gone here in the last half of inning number nine. On its way to the corner, Winker on a dead sprint tracks it down for the out. And there's two down. Outstanding catch right there, and I love the commitment that he showed. He knew that the wall was close, but was determined to make that catch and a nice calculation of just how much room he had to try to minimize that contact. So it's their last chance in this one. Next for Milwaukee, Joseph Ortiz. Two on, two outs. No, that's a ball. Two and one. Swing and a miss, and now two and two. I think he was sitting off speed there. McGill is just one strike away. That one is upstairs. That turns out to be a really good take right there, but you don't want to end this game with the bat on your shoulder. Payoff pitch. Swing and a foul ball at the plate. They'll do it again. Fights it off, he'll see another. Outside, and that is ball four. That's a great at bat. He saw a lot of pitches and earned a walk. Well, interesting, he went with the off speed and walked the hitter. Man, you got to challenge the guy with the fastball. Back to the top of the Milwaukee order. Bryce Terang, up now for the Brewers. Base is loaded, two down. Lifted to left, and that should do it. He puts it away, and that'll do it. The Mets take this one in a blowout. Good win by six runs. Always nice when you can win by a touchdown or a couple of field goals. You want to keep that momentum going. Knowing the offense can score at will, bring it into the next one and get another W. And a 7-1 finish in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chomby. Thanks for joining us.